Okay, let's quickly cover some common contraceptive types. Now, this is not a comprehensive list. Uh, I did not cover everything. I just covered the major points. And uh, I'm briefly covering each of these topics. And we're going to start off by talking about oral contraceptive pills, also known as OCPs. Now, these are going to be very commonly used. Uh, it's going to be one of the most common forms besides condoms. Um, why? It's because these are very safe. And they're also very effective in the high 90% uh, effective rate if taken properly. Now, how do you take an oral contraceptive pill properly? As you can tell by the picture here, there are going to be 28 individual wells. And in each well, there will be a single pill. Now, in each row here, there's going to be four rows of seven. So this would be one week, this would be two weeks, this would be three weeks, and four weeks. Now, one of those weeks will contain a placebo pill, meaning there will be uh, an estrogen and a progesterone combination most likely in each single one of these, except for, let's say, this last week. That'll be a placebo pill, meaning they'll, you'll still be taking a pill, however, it won't contain the actual formulation of medication. Now, that'll allow you to bleed on a monthly cycle. The average cycle is 28 days, therefore there's 28 wells, and once, once a month you will, uh, or I guess once every 28 days, you will begin bleeding. So that's how oral contraceptive pills work. They're going to have either a progestin only or a progesterone uh, estrogen combination. Now, depending on what type of oral contraceptive you are on, um, you may have a different formulation. However, most of them will contain the ethanol estradiol. So those are oral contraceptives. Now let's talk about the Depo shot, also known as Depo Provera. Now, uh, as you can tell by the picture here, it is a shot form and you take it every three months. And you'll get a little bit of irregular bleeding possibly by the end of that three month cycle. Um, however, this shot is gonna be very safe and effective. High, high effective rate, just like the oral contraceptive pills. Um, however, with Depo, there are some side effects such as weight gain and irregular bleeding, like I already said, closer to the end of that three month window. But again, you will need to go in uh, to your doctor and get a shot every three months. Uh, how does it work? It's going to load up just on progesterone, so you're going to have a form of progesterone and uh, no estrogen in there. Um, next, we are going to go over IUDs, also known as intrauterine devices. What they are, it's, these will be more long term. While the depot shot was every three months, uh, an IUD can be placed for up to five years. Now, the good thing about an IUD is once it's in, you don't have to worry about it uh, until that five-year window, at which point you can have it replaced with another one or you can take it out completely. Um, there will be different types. Um, one will be a copper-based formula, so the Paragard, and then a Mirena patch will contain a hormone, so the levonorgestrel. So there's two different types, either a copper type or a hormonal type. The hormonal type is going to be the more common one. That's going to be your Mirena IUD. Now, how does it work? Uh, the Mirena help and the copper both prevent the fertilization of the sperm and the ova or the implantation were fertilization to occur. And then for the insertion and removal, I just wanted to touch upon uh, the insertion can be done in a doctor's office. You don't need to have a procedure done. All it is is a simple, 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 simple procedure that uh, can be done in the office um, within a matter of seconds, really, depending on the, the training of the clinician. And then for the removal, again, you show up at any doctor's office or obstetric gynecologist's office, and, uh, and it's a very simple um, removal. A little bit of pain because nothing, anything that goes in or out of the uterus and causes irritation will, uh, will cause the uterus to contract most likely, and that causes a little pain. All right, so next, lastly, we'll, um, maybe not lastly, but we'll talk about condoms. Very common, very, very broad knowledge about this, so I'm not really gonna touch on it, except um, the effectiveness is decreased a little. Um, you're not in the high 90% rate because condoms can break. Um, and then also, the other forms, such as the shot, the oral contraceptive pill, the IUD, those all don't have anything to do with sexually transmitted diseases. So condoms can act as a barrier while the other forms just deal with pregnancy and irregular menstruations and uh, heavy bleeding. Well, 
Condoms, on the other hand, may help decrease sexually transmitted disease transmission. Then lastly, we will talk about emergency contraception. Now, the most common one is going to be Plan B, uh, also known as levonorgestrel. Um, what it is, is it's a two-pill form. Um, I've seen studies that say you can either take the two pills together or you can take um, them on a staggered basis. So you take a pill now and then you wait up to 12 hours and then take the other pill. Uh, really follow your clinician's advice. However, studies have shown that really it doesn't matter. Uh, there is a high 90% uh, success rate. So as you can see here, a 2.4% failure rate. Uh, really, Plan B does work most of the time, especially when taken properly. Um, what is it proper proper taking Plan B? Well, they say you can take it up to three days after uh, after sex, but really you can take it up to 120 hours post coitus, and uh, it has been proven effective. Now, there, it does have some side effects. So this is not one of the forms of contraception that you want to use on a on a daily basis. Uh, this is like they say in the name, emergency. So uh, you'll see the menstrual cycle irregularities after you take plan B. So maybe the next two or three cycles are gonna be either irregular, shortened, prolonged, you're gonna have spotting, uh, you're gonna just see the irre irregularities. And then also you'll have some nausea and vomiting possibly, and then also an overall energy decrease. There are plenty more side effects, but these are some of the bigger ones. And how does it work? Uh, it's going to contain a hormone which prevents the ovulation. Um, so really, this is not a long-term contraceptive. This is a one-time, oops, a condom broke uh, form of contraception. Here's my citation for this. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask. I really did just cover the very basics today. Um, if you'd like a better explanation, just ask, and I might throw together a video. Thank you very much.